light part 1 hello children light plays an important role in our lives without light we cannot see anything and we have seen in the first part of the video on plants that plants make food in the presence of sunlight there are many sources of light sun and stars are natural sources of light bulbs tube light lanterns candles etc are artificial sources of light we shall learn about the various aspects of light in this video come let us meet rama and rinku who are on a visit to their dadaji's house today both the girls along with their dadaji have come to watch the popular movie the jungle book dadaji i'm having fun the story of mowgli is very good and there is still half an hour of cinema let's go to eat something dada ji what is this i cannot see properly on the screen the shadows of those who are walking around are appearing watch the movie now we'll talk about this later Dada ji, the story of Jungle Book was quite good, but when the people in front were going out, then we could not see anything properly on the screen. Children, on the screen in the cinema hall we saw were the shadows of those who were standing in front of the projector. Yes, the light was falling on them. Is this why that happened? Well said. This happened because they were standing in front of the projector from where the projector's light was coming. Hmm. Light travels in straight line. Whenever an opaque object comes in between the light, a shadow of the object is formed. like the light that is coming from the street lamp it is falling straight yes children we will go home to understand the phenomenon better we shall conduct an experiment at home dada ji you were telling about an experiment rama bring a candle from that cupboard Let's light the candle and place it on this table taking a paper and roll it like a pipe you will see the candle Dada ji I see a candle I will bend this paper pipe a little right now Dada ji I can't see the candle That's because the light just goes in a straight line. Yes, Dada ji, the light that comes from the flashlight also goes in a straight line. Yes, we will conduct another experiment. Take three thick papers or thick cardboards. All three of them will be pierced at the same place. These three cardboards will be placed one behind the other on the table. Take this candle and place it in the front of these cardboards at the start. I shall stand at the other end and look, I am able to see the candle from all the three holes. You are correct. If the three holes on the three different cardboards would have been pierced at three different levels then the candle would not have been visible This experiment shows that light travels in a straight line Hmm However the direction of the rays of light can be changed although they travel in a straight line oh i see how is that possible dada ji come 
I shall explain this to you. We shall take a mirror. Rinku, please hold this mirror. We shall stand in a triangular shape. Dadaji, should I stand in between holding this mirror? Yes, Rinku. Me and Rama will face opposite each other. When I have put the torch light on the mirror, what has happened? This light fell on me. Why did this happen, Dadaji? This means that the mirror can change the direction of the light. Why just a mirror? The light can change the direction of its path on any shiny smooth surface. I know. Like the water in the lake, a steel utensil, etc. Yes, when the light rays strike a mirror and return, it is called reflection. Is it because of reflection we can see our image on the mirror? Yes, children. We need light to see anything or an object. When light falls on the object, we can see that object due to reflection of the light. In the same way, when light falls on a mirror, it gets reflected and we can see the image on the mirror. Yes, you are right. Dadaji, I have another question. We shall now eat something and we shall talk about it tomorrow. Okay, Dadaji. Children, have you all ever wondered why our images appear the same size as us when we see ourselves in a small or a big plane mirror? Children, we learnt about a few aspects of light. In the next video, we shall learn about the spherical mirrors and a few aspects related to them. Goodbye till we meet again. Part 2 The objective of the video is to learn about concave and convex mirrors. Look closely. Look carefully. Peep into this mirror. Sometimes it looks clear. Sometimes it looks blurred. The sky is visible and the earth is visible. Sometimes someone like me is visible and sometimes many are visible. What is the difference? Tell me the difference. How tall does Ramu look? Meena looks small. What a miracle! This mirror is also amazing. Sometimes it surprises me and sometimes it astonishes me. Children, yes, I am talking about the mirror. Mirror is quite interesting and has many features. We will learn a few more features of the mirror. We will also learn about the concave and the convex mirror. Come, let us go back to Rinku and Rama who are visiting their grandfather. Children, come quickly. We have to go to the fair. I heard there are many interesting things in the fair this time. Yes, yes, we are coming Dadaji. Dadaji, we will play in the fair. And have a lot of fun. Oh, we have come to the fair. Wow, look at the fair. It is so big. Dadaji, we shall start exploring from here. Dadaji, see, here it is written that this is Jamatkari Kamra. I am very eager to go into this room. I also have to find out what miracles will be seen here. Let's go in and see. Oh ho! Everything looks so hodgepodge. So many reflections. Rinku, look! How many mirrors are there? I look so fat here. 
and here I have reversed. This is a truly miraculous room. Dada ji, you do come here. Look, Rinku, come and look in this mirror. I am looking so twisted. Imagine if I was like this, I would have looked so weird. <laughs> yes, and if I was so small, I would have hidden myself and eaten a lot of malai. There are many types of mirrors here, and here are convex and concave mirrors. This is why we are all looking fat, small, big, and weird too. I have to find out how different they are from each other. Let's go to each mirror. Rinku, look at this. My reflection in this mirror is seen upside down. But now, when I have come so close, I'm looking so big. Children, isn't it a really chamatkarik camera? You look puzzled and astonished. We mirrors are very different. Come, I shall solve a few mysteries. Children, do you know why the reflection of Rama first appeared upside down? Do you know why the reflection of Rama first appeared upside down and then big? You see that my reflective plane is pressed inwards. Children, I am very different than my brother, concave mirror. Can you think how? The way you look big when you peep in him. When you peep into me, you look small. I am a mirror whose reflective surface faces outwards. When someone comes in front of me, they look small. Well, I am his younger brother. Now can you think where all we are used? Rinku, different mirrors will have different uses. Let's ask Dadaji. Dadaji, when the surfaces of the convex mirror and the concave mirror are different, the usage will also be different, isn't it? Yes, kids. You both are right. Both mirrors have different uses. While the concave mirror is used in flashlights, car and scooter headlights, and convex mirror is used in cars, buses and other vehicles. How is that, Dadaji? The mirrors inside and outside the vehicles are convex mirrors, that is, the side mirrors and rear view mirrors. Because of these mirrors, the driver gets a better view of the vehicles on the way. Hmm. Tataji, the mirror we use every day is not a spherical one. Yes, you are right. We call it a plain mirror. Hello children, I am the clown here. Do you know? That plane mirror also has a feature. Look here is a look. Here is a simple mirror. Both of you look at your images and tell me what you both saw. Neither am I looking small nor big. I am what I am. Rightly said. But I will write something on this paper. Now tell me if you can read it. Matatha? Why are you studying like this? I will read it very easily. Ma aka aka. <laughs> All the letters are inverted. It is not that easy. Did you enjoy? On this paper, it was written. Don't speak bad, don't listen bad, and don't look at bad things. Oh, we did not understand. We, however, had fun. 
Rama, look at this spherical lens. Small things kept here. Look so big. I can use them to become a detective. Hey Rinku, do you want to become the detective? Chagga Jasus? <laughs> I want to know more about them. Dadaji, let's go home. Children, you also find out about different types of mirrors. I have heard that a part of the Sheesh Mahal in Jaipur is made up of various mirrors and the Rock Garden in Chandigarh too has a section on the different types of mirrors. You also request your teacher or parents to plan a trip. In this video, you learned about spherical mirrors. We will learn about the spherical lens in the next video. Small objects appear big in it. We will learn more about them in the next video. Part 3 Children, today we will learn about lenses in this video. A lens is a curved piece made of glass or a transparent object. Yesterday, Rama and Rinku had a lot of fun at the fair. There, their grandfather bought magnifying lenses and a crystal for them. They happily returned home and the next day went out with the magnifying lens to Rama and Rinku's grandfather's small garden. Let's go to the garden with Rama and Rinku and see what they are looking for. The objective of this video is to learn about convex and concave lenses. Come Rama, let's start our investigation. Let's go to the garden outside. Take a notepad and a pencil. We will keep writing our findings like detectives. Rinku, let's start from here. Anyways, we can see many types of insects on the grass and these colorful flowers must also have insects to suck their juice. Let us start from here. Look at this flower and look at the red bug on it. Oh God, this insect looks so huge. Take this, you also see. Looks like it will eat me. How big are the black dots on it? It was fun. Shoo, shoo, shoo. See, now this red insect was running here and there on the grass. Save, save. Why are you both burning this grass? This grass is my home. Where will I live now? Rama, what is this bug babbling? Why would we burn his house? We were detectives, isn't it? Rinku, see here. This form is telling the truth. Here the grass burned a little bit. But we don't have anything to burn. There is neither matchbox nor anything else that can burn this grass. This is nothing short of a miracle. Now I have turned a wizard from a detective. But... How did all this miracle happen? Wow! Why are you burning me? This is due to the magnifying glass you have. Get it out of here immediately. What? We were playing with the magnifying glass. Does it burn anything? Yes, children. Do you know that whenever you bring a magnifying lens closer to me and the ray of the sun fall on them, I burn. These rays have a lot of power and energy in them. How ordinary are these lenses look? Thick in the middle and thin in the edges. But they are so powerful. Children, did you exercise your brain? Go to school and tell your friends what is the principle behind the magnifying lens. Rama, I am very excited to show this to my friends. There will be great fun at school. I am tired and I am hungry. Let's go inside. Rinku, enough of this detective game. I don't want to play. 
Come on then, let's go towards the lake. Dada ji, we are going out. Children, don't go too far. I have heard that there is a lot of commotion in the village. Heard that a group of scientists has come. Scientists? Rinku, don't tell me that you want to become a scientist. Sometimes a spy, sometimes a scientist. Oh God! Oh, at least we will see what this commotion is about. Come, let us go. I will get my magnifying lens. I might find something interesting there. Hmm. Look, there is a group of scientists. Let us ask them what they are doing. Good afternoon, sir. Why have you come here? We have come here to watch the phenomenon of solar eclipse. We are in the preparations. Tomorrow is the eclipse. What is this? It looks like you can see things from these. These are binoculars. What is it in your hand? That is her magnifying lens. She wants to become a detective. <laughs> we use these binoculars to view the solar eclipse. Oh, is it? But this lens here is thin in the center and thick in the corners. Do you know that the simplest camera has no lens and to focus the light, the camera uses a pinhole. Yes, very good observation. You can definitely become a good detective. These lens are different from your magnifying lens. They work on the principle of divergence. These are concave lens. Concave lens? Yes, when the light ray falls on the concave lens, they get dispersed and spread far away. That is, these rays become divergent. Sir, can you give us one example? Look at the torchlight, which has been kept here. This also has concave lens. The light rays from the torchlight diverge and spread over a long distance. Now I have understood. The convex lens converges the light and concave lens diverges the light. Well said. Thank you, sir. I will come back again to see the solar eclipse tomorrow. Wow, Rama. These lenses are miraculous. I will discuss all this with my friends. Children, we learnt about two kinds of lenses today. Now inform me quickly as to what kind of lenses you use for spectacles, telescope, camera, flashlights, etc. I am confident that you will answer to all these questions. Thank you for watching this video. In the next video, we will talk of the rainbow formation. See you!